Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I'll get the glory, we'll win the fight. Good morning, guys. It is just after 5am. Oh, way too early, but like I mentioned, this is going to be too... <clears throat> two Lee Mast episodes this week, and this is number two. So, you're going to be following me on a work day. Um, so, it is actually 5 a.m. now. Not had anything to eat yet, but I've got to go on to the dog out for a walk. Well, walk. So I put these bad boys on. That way. Because he's a high energy dog. He can run all the time, but I can't let him off the lead. So I'm going to go take him out, get him all tired and exercised, feed him, feed myself, get ready for work and go. So I'll catch you in a little while. Almost time to leave for work. Got some breakfast. This is what I take with me. This is my uh, morning smoothie. 40 grams of whey protein, strawberry, my protein. And then I just add 100 grams of these strawberry and banana frozen fruit slices. Snack for work, I've got two muffins with 120 grams of deli tur sliced turkey meat. And my post-workout shake is in here. 40 grams of protein with my creatine and simple sugars dextrose. Just before 7 a.m. now guys, and I am heading to work. Been up for two hours, walk the dog, well, skated the dog. That's a good tip for you. You've got a high energy dog. Walking isn't just enough. You need to walk for a long time. So what they need to do is really run. And there's nowhere really you can let him off around my area. So I skate, skate with him along the uh, along the prom. So he's constantly running. Tired out in about half an hour because he's only a small dog. So that's a little tip for you guys. Hope you can see me. It's pretty dark here. Let's, let's talk about it. So today is going to be obviously my lean mask next episode. I do apologise for the lateness of the last one. I had to do 10 days straight of work and it was just like finishing work and getting home at 10 o'clock at night and it just wasn't happening. So I apologise for that but that's why there will be two this week. I am filming this one for the first time on a day of working but luckily it's only a short shift today. Six hour shift. So I've got my morning shake which I always make um, to take to work with me when I'm on earlys this week guys it's a little bit different I am introducing a mini cut for the week just to try and get my body fat in check on this bulk I feel I'm I don't want to get too pudgy so I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit for a week uh, and then start bulking again turkey that is work over with guys and thank God, because that shift dragged and I feel knackered, but it's time to head to the gym now. I've got uh, Monster Absolute Zero for my pre-workout, because I forgot to bring my actual pre-workout. How's it going, guys? Where we are in the gym again, and it seems like this is the only angle you seem to see me when it's my lower body day. But I do apologise for that, but the gym only has one squat rack, and if it's a few people in, I can't really change up the angle so this is the angle you'll have to put up with for this voiceover and so like I say it is my lower body day it's my lower body hypertrophy day to be exact so that starts off with some squats five sets of eight moving on to deadlifts after that then I do some calf work some leg extensions and some leg hamstring curls should I say not leg curls hamstring curls so these feel a lot more comfortable I feel like they're improving week in week out uh, the depth is fine, it's improving, and I do feel more comfortable with the depth that I'm doing on these squats. Um, I don't have any issues, don't have any pain or anything like that. My explosiveness, if that's a word, explosiveness, needs improving because I am slow out the hole on a lot of these squats. I did drop the weight on this by 10kg from what I was usually working with. I don't know if it's because I am on a mini cuts or my carbs are depleted or what or just maybe i was just tired i don't know just come straight from work so maybe it's that but i had to drop the weight it didn't feel as comfortable comment below let me know if you uh, agree guys but 
that's what I am trying to improve on. I'm trying to improve on my form before I start upping the weight. So that's why my squats aren't as heavy as maybe some of the other YouTubers you will see. But I'll get there eventually. I do promise you that. Now here is the deadlift variation that this program calls for. Now again the weight wasn't so good but I pulled my groin a couple of weeks ago so I didn't want to push myself too much. don't want a risk of injury so I am doing some deadlifts here. On, usually I would stand on a step up box but that was being used so I just had to improvise and use two plates and stand on that but I do like the speed. My speed is getting a lot a lot better on these deadlifts and it's improving week by week that's a very good sign so when I do start increasing the weight a lot more I will have the form down and the speed down so I should be able to just keep increasing the weight increasing the weight and setting some new PRs very soon hopefully that's what I want to do but that's about it guys this voiceover Um I did move on to some calf raises that you'll see just to show that I do train my calves guys five sets 15 reps each and I do this two or three times a week and I do standing calf raises and I do leg machine car races, calf races sorry so I'll see you in the next clip guys, Proust in the pudding that feeling when you're finishing the gym it's been a hardcore leg workout and you've got to wait on someone I need my post workout meal how selfish of them but I am currently sat waiting for the GF to get here so I can drive to mine and then I'm gonna get some food down me come on to a big ass box from muscle food so that's when you know it's the beginning of the month and Let's open it, and I'll show this you what, what I've got. got. I've got two kg of just chicken breast fillet. It was buy one get one free, so I've got one for free. I've got some, also got some chicken breast in a fajita marinade, so I've got one kg of them as well. I've got some Nando's rubs because everyone likes a bit of Nando's spices got some of these Tex-Mex beef soups they were on offer so I thought I'd give them a try high protein meals pretty good got some uh, deli turkey meat and some original PP workout meal it's a spicy chicken and chorizo pasta it's got veg and it's got some spinach in there quite healthy it's about 11 grams of fat 50 grams of carbs and about 30 grams of protein so that's what i'm going to have my post work <laughs> how's it going guys so as you saw before we went to the fireworks so it's a little bit later on now it's nearly half eight and we're just getting our last meal in i've got a Tex-Mex beef soup that I got from in my muscle food order so this is per serving 7 grams of fat 21 grams of protein and 10 grams of carbs I'm gonna get that down me I'm gonna add 50 grams of chorizo sausage yes yeah, so I'm gonna have 50 grams of this which is this sausage here so this is it guys Tex-Mex beef soup with some chorizo sausage. Quite a big bowl, so so that is that soup gone in about 20 seconds. No joke. Don't know what it is about stuff like that. They don't just don't fill you up. Soups do not fill me up. I'm, so I'm on a mini cut at the minute. So I'm fucking laughing. Anyway, I'm on a mini cut at the minute, so I'm reducing my carbs now. My carbs have been about 450 grams around, so I've reduced them to around 220. Um, I'm hoping that's what I'm on, maybe. Protein stayed the same at between 190 and 200 grams, and my fats around 65, 70 grams around there I'm happy with. 
So I'm on. I had a lot of carbs this morning because I'm concentrating on keeping my carbs around my workout. And because I'm doing intra workout with the jelly beans, that's quite a lot of carbs gone there. So, yeah, so that meal then was not a lot of carbs. So it was a soup, but it's not filling. So I'm going to go straight back downstairs and get on with my dessert that I'm going to try and make and hopefully it comes out in my head it's going to be perfect in my head but I've done stuff like this before and it's tasted disgusting I mean one time I made total Greek yogurt with casein protein mixed it all up and thought it would taste nice no big mistake it was disgusting it literally turned the bowl upside down it wouldn't even move it was horrible that was a right disaster I'm hoping this next little concoction, concoction that I'm going to make will be will be good. So this is the almost finished product, guys. So what I've done is I've got 100 grams of total Greek yogurt. This is the this isn't the fat-free one. This has got five grams of fat per 100 grams because I need fats, and I've got one serving of the PPB. Mix that up in the bowl like that, added one serving of honey because I actually have got a little bit of carbs left and then it comes like this and then what you do is you stick it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and it should come out alright. So this is how it's turned out, it's not turned out as I'd hoped, it's still a bit too runny so maybe maybe it needs to go in the freezer for a little bit longer but I'm impatient and I want it now. Yeah, it's not so turned I'm out to plan but I'm going to get it down me anyway, trial and error, I'll just mine up and eat it. So. That is basically going to be it for my day of eating, guys. This episode, I have ended up on 2,243 calories, 223 grams of carbs, 57 grams of fat, so I'm a little bit under, but I'm alright with that, and 200 grams of protein. So, not too bad. Get to finish this, and I'll start editing this video straight away. But hopefully you liked it guys hopefully you like the little change up it feels a bit rushed to me to be honest with you but we'll see how it turns out when i've edited it and so let me know what you guys think of the video comment below and um, subscribe if you've not already subscribed i'm i believe 13 subscribers off my 100 subscriber target so please guys share it like the video so people can find it and if you haven't and you're watching this video click subscribe Really do appreciate it, appreciate you all. And yeah, that's it. That has been my Lean Mass episode, Bonfire Night. You've seen fireworks, training and eating, me ranting, even rollerblading with a dog. So that'll be it, guys. I, it is, try and edit this video tonight back at work tomorrow back at the gym yeah i'm ranting so yeah i'll leave it there guys see you in a bit bye